Well, Demi, the fans are incredibly excited about uh, what might lie in store over the course of the next couple of games. But first of all, uh, we need to win at Fulham. Yeah, we need to win at Fulham and we need to win our last game as well. Um, that's the only thing we can control at the minute because obviously, you know, apart from that, it's not still not up to us. But uh, if we do our, our, uh, our bit and uh, we've got those games uh, um, ready and, uh, you know, uh, get the get the three points, then we'll hope for a sleep up from from the other two teams, and hopefully we'll be there. And going to Fulham with the confidence of a, a victory at Norwich, how important was that victory? And of course, uh, the clean sheet, another clean sheet this season. Yeah, it's been it was very important. We played in a, a you know a, a club that um, they rarely don't score at home this season, and uh, we managed to keep a clean sheet without me having to do much work. To be fair, and that's. Big credit to the boys uh, defending as a as a unit, which we have been doing all season. Uh, and um, yeah, it was it was really important. But uh, I've said to the boys before the Norwich game that if we win the Norwich game, then obviously the, we'll be saying the same thing about the Fulham game. It's another big one, and uh, we got two more very big ones, and we have to make sure that we win them both. You kept the clean sheet, hung on towards the end. Um, you need some treatment later on in the game. Chris, clarify, were you a bit disappointed by one or two comments that were made about the fact that you did go down injured in stoppage time at Carrow Road? Um, well, yeah, I've had a few comments, but it's a, it's a situation that's been uh, since last week uh, against Wolves. My, uh, you know, my, my hamstring was a bit tight and uh, we uh, managed it through, through the week and uh, towards the end of the game I, I felt it again. Obviously, you know, when, you, when you're winning in a such important match, you're not thinking of, you know... Uh, Keeping the tempo of the game, uh, so I thought it was a. Uh, it was only five uh, minutes ago. We've done all our subs, and the last thing I wanted was us to risk me, you know, ending up uh, coming coming off. Uh, that that wouldn't be good for the team. So yeah, it was only a couple of minutes, and I thought it's been added to the injured time. So I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what the fuss was all about. And before we kick off at Fulham, Watford will have played at Brighton. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit down and watch the game, hear about the game, or just concentrate on on the Borough game? What's the mindset? No, we've got our own preparation to do before the before the, the game, but uh, obviously, no doubt, we'll know about the score uh, against Watford, uh, Watford against uh, Brighton. Uh, but either either way, we'll, we'll have to go and win uh, win our game, and that's what we're going to try to do. But obviously, if you get some good news uh, from that game, it's it's another like a. Another, another little boost, I think. But uh, you know, we won't be. I don't think we'll be watching the game. We have our own uh, preparation and uh, much analysis to do before our game. And respect for Fulham. This won't be an easy game at Craven Cottage, will it? No, no games are easy in in, in, in the Championship. We, we've seen that in the past. None of the games are easy. You can play against uh, Blackpool and they'll give you a game if you. If you give them the, the, the time and the space, they'll hurt you. Uh, so no, we know it's gonna it's not gonna be easy. Uh, we know it's uh, they obviously it's the the last game of the season at home, I think. Uh, so that they'll want to finish on a on a high. Uh, but it's it, as I said, it's a, it's up to us to uh, you know show again our abilities and carry on our form, and uh, you know get the win.